Well, in Cascade County, uh, the election officials wrapped up their counting of ballots around 8 o'clock this evening. And one of the most watched races was for Cascade County Sheriff, replacing current Sheriff Bob Edwards, who was beat out in the primary by Great Falls Police Detective Jesse Slaughter. Slaughter faced Cascade County Sheriff's Office Lieutenant Bob Rosapal. Slaughter has been elected to be your next sheriff, defeating Rosa Powell. 53% of the vote to 47%. Slaughter tells MTN he's excited to make the transition and work with those who are already in the sheriff's office, including his opponent in this election, Bob Rosapal. The sky's the limit. Um, I really think that uh, uh, there's a lot of possibility in that office. I've said from day one, uh, with the, the, the men and women who work in the Cascade County Jail and the men and women who are sworn and the civilian staff who work at the Cascade County Sheriff's Office that there are amazing people there. Um, and I, I feel that uh, with uh, Corey and I's leadership, we are going to be able to take it to another level. Uh, and then with, like I said, the great opportunity having uh, Bob involved in the, in the process, it's going to be amazing. Take office in January of 2019. And of course, now that we have those unofficial results from Cascade County, we want to update you on a few of the Montana House and Senate races. House District 21 in Cascade County, Ed Buttry moving from Senate District 11, hoping to claim a seat in the House. The Republican going up against Democratic candidate Leisha Ford. Buttry will successfully move into the Montana House, winning 54 to 46. Now the seat Buttery left in Senate District 11 features Democrat Tom Jacobson as well as Republican Adam Rosendale, the son of Matt Rosendale. The winner, Ed, uh, we can advance the graphic there if we're able to get that, but we, we can tell you that Tom Jacobson did go on uh, to win that seat. And in uh, Montana House District 22 in Cascade County, it featured uh, Republican incumbent, incumbent Republican Lola Sheldon Galloway challenged by Democrat Laura uh, Deaver, a very close race here with just about five votes unofficially separating these two. Deaver with 1,864, Galloway with uh, 1,869. So there could uh, quite possibly be a runoff in that one. And this one here you see on your screen for House District 24, Barbara Bissett and Mike McNamara. Barbara Bissett, the Democrat, will take that seat. Uh, we didn't have this race for you. Hopefully we'll be able to show you uh, for District 25. This was Jeremy Trebus, the Republican versus Democrat Jasmine Krotkov. All right, we don't have that one. We can tell you that Krotkov went on to win with nearly 1,900 votes. And uh, just wanted to correct myself in that uh, Deaver Sheldon Galloway. I said it could be a runoff. It could be a recount. So we will have to wait and see how that one plays out again. Please check on our website, uh, both KXLH.com, KRTV.com for the latest election results.